Bro, you don't think I want to do that? Bro, I want to go beyond that. Because life is beyond that. What do I do if I get fired from my job? Do I cry? Do I put my head down? What do I do to tell my wife? I got, what, I'm, I got fired, I want to sit down at home now. It's not about that, guys. It's about rising above the obstacles. Kids nowadays, all they learn is about shooting basketball in the hoop. It's not that, life is not about that, guys. Guys, I, I'm not, I could go home right now. I could go home. But I'm teaching you guys a lesson that you can carry on later on. Alright? I love you guys. Alright, let's go. Let's bring it in. Let's go. If you want to make it in this game, you need to do three things. You need to work hard. You need to work smart. And you need to work consistent. But you have to have all three. See, if you work hard and you work smart, but you don't do it very often and you don't do it consistently, you won't make it. If you work really, really hard, and you do it all of the time, but you don't work smart, you're not going to make it. And it goes without saying that if you don't even work hard, you don't stand a chance. Now here's the thing as far as working hard, and I don't blame you if I'm the 10 millionth person who's told you in your life, you have to work hard. I guarantee your parents have told you that, I guarantee coaches have told you that. Anytime they interview some celebrity on TV, what did you do to make it? You got to work hard, you got to work hard. What does work hard mean? See, here's the problem. It's a relative term. Each of us defines it differently. What you consider working hard might make him laugh. What he considers working hard, Kobe Bryant might laugh at. Here's how I'm going to define working hard. You take yourself to the point of discomfort. That can be physical, that can be mental, that can be emotional. Take yourself out of your comfort zone. If you guys want to make it, you have to learn how to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And if you want to be great, if you want to be like the Kevin Durant type player, you have to make working hard a habit. Keep pushing, go, keep pushing. Yes, go. Keep pushing. Make him fall again, doesn't matter. He's going to stand up again. Good job, let's go, let's go. Every time you enter the gym to work out, or to practice or to play a game, you have a choice to make. You have the choice to work hard, or you have the choice to not work hard. And most of you don't grasp that not working hard is a conscious choice. It's easy to make excuses. It's easy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. I didn't eat breakfast. My, my parents were late picking me up. It's easy to make excuses. But at the end of the day, when you lace up your sneakers and it's time to play, whether you're working out, practicing, or playing in a game, you have the choice to work hard. And if you want to be great, if you want to be like a Kevin Durant type player, you have to make working hard a habit. But you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful? There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can aid you can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. Run, run, run. At the end of your feelings is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise.
Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings. But behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now, because you're just all about your feelings. You, you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotions. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. Let's go. One, two. Love. One, two. Love. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If, if it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. Take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. Live your life with passion. With some drive. Decide that you're going to push yourself. The last chapter to your life has not been written yet and it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? This year I will make this goal become a reality. I won't talk about it anymore. I can. I can. I can. Speaker is the gold medal. Okay. Winner lose, where are the winners? I got to To persevere, I think, is important for everybody. Don't give up. Don't give in. There's always an answer to everything.
Buzzy, my Buzzy Tyler. Whoa, I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just a touch of.